absorbing radiation from the planet's core. The organization we work for, Monarch, was established in the wake of this discovery. A multinational coalition formed in secrecy to search for him, study him, learn everything we could. We call him Gojira. Give me eyes in the air. We're picking up something else, approaching from the Pacific. We need to check out that object. General quarters. Bridge, this is the captain. Where are you going? Up to the flight deck. I think he's coming. What are you doing? I have to see this. This alpha predator of yours, Doctor, do you really think he has a chance? The arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control, and not the other way around. Let them fight. Down. Killing them would be a mistake. They returned because of us. It was our atomic testing that awoke Godzilla. Other creatures like the Mutos, from strip mining and seismic surveys. But these are not monsters. They are animals rising to reclaim a world that was once theirs. It almost sounds like you're protecting them, Dr. Sirizawa, as if you admire them. I admire all forms of life. Senators, if we hope to survive, we must find ways to coexist with Titans, with Gojira. A sort of symbiotic relationship, if you will. Like the lion and the mouse. Or the scorpion and the frog. So you'd want to make Godzilla our pet? No. We would be his. <laughs> Sometimes, the only way to heal our wounds is to make peace with the demons who created them. You really believe that? Don't you? Isn't that why you are here? There's some things beyond our understanding, Mark. We must accept them and learn from them. Because these moments of crisis are also potential moments of faith. A time when we either come together or fall apart. Nature always has a way of balancing itself. The only question is, what part will we play? Did you just make that up? No. I read it in a fortune cookie once. A really long fortune cookie. 